Hello friends, let's try the ringless honey mushroom. I've never tried it before. It has a reputation for gastric distress. It should be cooked well. Young cats are said to be best. You know, a lot of wild mushrooms can cause gastric distress, almost all of them. That's why you should cook them all well. So I'm gonna cook these extra crispy. I just do four or five little ones. For the longest time, I thought chanterelles didn't agree with me, but it turns out I just wasn't cooking them long enough. And my wife says the same thing about morels for her, but I have a suspicion that might be the case as well, since those are toxic when not cooked well enough. So here we go. Now I'm going to throw to a video of me earlier collecting these mushrooms. Hey, friends. Uh, it's mid September and this time of year. Every year at about this time, we see a lot of ringless honey mushrooms, our malaria tapisins. They come up in big clusters and big, big groups. Here's an example. There's a bunch right here. You can see their honey color and their little dimples all the way down there. There's some right here. Couple more over there, and smaller little groups popping up there and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere! So here they are up close, honey colored. They kind of uh, have an outer an Audi, like a sombrero at first, and then they become uh, more vase shaped. Uh, when they're older, gills, a tannish color, um, kind of remind me of like an enoki, uh, where they're all, all these fibrous stems are coming out of a similar point in the ground. Um, so it's a saprophytic fungus feeding on the dead roots of the hardwood trees, mostly preferring maples and oaks. This is from a dead oak stump, not the most desirable. Um, but I think I'm going to try them. They do have uh, some health benefits, the honey mushrooms, antibacterial, uh, antioxidant, anti-cancer properties, and possibly uh, cognitive benefits. So let's uh, put it all on the line and try one of these, see how it tastes. All right, they're extra crispy. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, it's not great. It's a little bitter. It's okay. I mean, I cook them extra crispy, so maybe they just like that's just like the burnt taste. But um, would I eat these again? I don't know. Let's come back in 24 hours and I'll give it the thumbs up or thumbs down. So here I am 24 hours later. Uh, no tummy tightness, no extra bathroom visits. So that's good. I really think I burnt those. Uh, butter was burned, they're extra crispy. It's hard to overcook a mushroom, but I think I might have. Um, all that water and chitin um, has its limits, I guess. Um, so I took another try tonight. I parboiled them in some water for like four or five minutes and then just uh, sauteed them in olive oil this time. So we're gonna give it another try. Yeah, that's not bad. Thumbs up. It's not really that bitter. Maybe a slight bitterness, but you know, not a whole lot of mushroom flavor, but a decent mushroom flavor, a nice chew, a nice bite. Will I fill my freezer with these and eat them for the next year? Probably not, but uh, you could go ahead and label me Honey Mushroom Curious. It's pretty good. Um, so that's it, signing off. Uh, hope you stay curious about mushrooms also.